Okay. Uh, welcome to SOS Fix. Today we have a Motorola is M3572 that has no power, no charge. So let's test it. Plug it to the charge. It show like it start getting the charge, then go to the zero amps. This means something is stopping it from getting the power. Hold the power button, nothing shows on the screen. Let's see what's going on with this phone. Yeah, we are trying to speed up the video, so this is how you check it apart. You check the back cover, and you check the screws, two screws here that's holding the fingerprint. It is connected, and check all the screws. Check this. All right, that's the the motherboard. That's there is two screws holding it over there. So this is the battery connector. And let's test the battery lines to see if there is any short on it. Let's try the melt metal. So here is the melt metal work. Put one in the ground. The battery lines is good, there is no shirt in it. I mean, the VCC main is good. So, let's test the battery voltage to see if it's the, uh, the problem in the battery. Yeah, the battery voltage is good, it's a 4.1 volt. That's uh, I mean, the battery is charging and uh, was holding the charge, so it's not the problem in the battery. So, let's take the motherboard and look at it. Uh, more info about this phone if we test the how like the power coming from the charger to check the charging port we put it here and we have 4.7 volt so it's close to the 5 volt that's good there you check between this uh, resistor is a zero ohm But if we check here, this is on the ground, this is on the battery line. We have zero volt going to the battery. So, Look at the motherboard to see if it is any water damage, any burning part or something looks different than normal. Everything looks okay. Let's try checking the, the covers. If you have the microscope, it's going to be way better to look at the small uh, stuff to see if everything looks good. Yeah. 
the next step we're gonna connect it to the power supply and see if it's uh, there is any shirt or partial shirt so let's give it some uh, power from the power supply and uh, see if we have any shirt Are a bit of the four volt and uh, about like two three amp that's gonna be good enough uh, the VCC main the battery line is gonna be on the right side and the ground on the left side So there is no little shirt or anything on the battery line. Let's try to push the power button and see if we get any amp going up. So this is the ground. If you look at the power supply, when uh, we hit the power button, it just says go to 10 uh, milliamp, then zero. It's mean there is something is uh, stopping this board to turn on to boot. So let's look. As a common problem for the phone boards, it could, it could be, like be a shorted uh, capacitor. Let's uh, check out that capacitor. Yeah, we start with the big capacitors because this is a common problem. So let's start testing the capacitors. The capacitor should be one side is ground, the other side is not ground this is a filter capacitor filter by the battery line is good the diode is not short this one is good let's look at the other side of the board This is quick test because we don't have the schematic for this board, so there is no way to start from looking at the schematic. This capacitor is shorted. This is the second one. Uh, it's not common problem it should be two capacitors shorted at the same time it should be one of them uh, let's uh, show you how we're gonna find which one we need to remove uh, let's we're gonna use this one to find out which shirt it is we set up the the soldering iron about uh, four five hundred degree It's coverage by the smoke. There is still a chance could be this chip is shorter too. So we're gonna put some smoke on it. Should be that enough. Yeah, come close. You see the white uh, fog in the capacitor and the other uh, parts. 
when it gets really hot, it's going to start melting that fork. So let's uh, go to the power supply. Going to set up the power supply. I don't know what's the voltage is going to this capacitor. So we start like about 1, 1 1.5 volt. And we keep it about like uh, two. So it's 1.5 volt, 2 amp. And so one is going to go to the ground. It's about here. Let me try to make a little bit this wire away from your view. By the way, the, I found out the ground capacitors is this side. You need to put the, the hot wire, the other side of the capacitor. This is ground, this is ground. This is not ground. Go close. Go close. You see that uh, capacitor over there, there is no smoke on it anymore. That's the bad capacitor. So let's remove it. Yeah. So we're gonna connect now the, our uh, hot tweezer. We set up it about like 700 degree here. By the way, this Hako I got it from eBay about like $80. Yeah, we will remove the bad capacitor using a hot wizard from uh, Hako. Uh, that's the bad capacitor. Let's check to, to be sure that uh, there is no shirt anymore. I'm going to check that capacitor. So, the, just to confirm, that's what is causing the shirt. Yep, that's the bad capacitor. And here, one on the ground. This side is the ground. This side is not the ground. So no more shirt. Let's see if the, this motherboard is gonna power on. Always connect the battery, the last thing, till after you connect the screen and everything. So let's power it on. The phone is on.
you have the phone work so let's put the back covers By the way, this is the same, this is the second phone come with the same problem. So maybe it's a common issue for this model. And I hope this video is gonna help uh, you guys to figure out how to fix this, uh, this model and the other model. So let's test the charge. Yep, it's charging. And the first charging option is uh, is on. It's a nine volt, 